Okay, guys, good morning. I wanted to stop in for a quick moment. This is Palmonia. I was going to sit, but I don't feel so comfortable um, sitting and I'm rushing through the door. I'm actually late for an appointment, but I feel compelled to get this message because somebody's probably waiting on it. I'm reading this book, T.D. Jakes, and I'm talking to king and queens this morning. So if you don't consider yourself to be a king or a queen, just keep moving, pass the video along to somebody that you believe is a king or a queen or someone you know is a king or a queen, but you see them operating in a space that doesn't resonate with being a king or a queen. They haven't yet owned that part of who they are. So as I'm reading this book, I mean, I have an accountability group that we meet and I'm saying to them, man, you, you ladies, you got to read this book because it just resonates. And so much things that I do, did I introduce myself? Palmonia, you could see from wherever you got the video, Palmonia Gordon, um, you know, author, speaker, coach. But I want to thank you for your time for stopping to listen to this. As I said, I'm speaking to those who are kings and queens or those who believe they're kings or queens, those who know they are kings and queens, but they haven't yet found themselves in that space where others actually acknowledge that in them and they are struggling. There's this imbalance because I know who God says I am. Or I know how I feel on the inside, but on the outside, it's not happening yet. And in uh, TDJ's book, Daddy Loves His Girls, he's talking about Leah. And for those of you who know scripture, it's uh, two sisters. And this man fell in love with the younger sister because she was more beautiful. And he worked seven years to marry her. And when he married her, when he thought he was marrying her and he went in, he saw the older sister, which she had like an eye defect. I mean, the joke is, you know, cast eye Leah because her eyes are funny. But long and short, she wasn't as beautiful as the sister he wanted. But also the tradition is the older daughter needs to be married before the younger saying, all right, no problem. You know what? I'll keep her, but that's the one I want. So I'm going to wait. I'll work seven more years for that sister. And when he worked the seven years and got the second sister, the first sister, the first wife was having babies. And each baby, if you go and you check the name, she was committing them to the husband in hoping that he loves her because she's able to produce child and the wife that he loves can't have any kids. And she kept doing that till she had three children and she finally realized, you know what? This man's not gonna love me for me. So when she had the fourth child, she named him Judah, which means, all right, you know what? I'm gonna give praise. I'm going to give praise to God. And then when she owned who she was, the, the queen, because you can't expect, I as a woman can't expect a man to treat me like a queen when I don't acknowledge that I'm a queen, walk like a queen, present myself like a queen, and refuse to ac tr accept treatment that is not enlightening or in accordance with who I'm professing and believing to be. And that's the first thing I want to uh, send home today. You have to know who you are and you have to in your mind, acknowledged and refuse to accept anything except what's in alignment with that. Two, you've got to go to God first. You have to let God affirm and tell you who you are. Maybe that should have been number one. Because once God tells you who you are, then it becomes easier for you to say, I know who I am so I can in this space 
I'm not being stush. I'm not being stocious. I'm not behaving like I'm nice. I'm not behaving like I'm better than you. I'm behaving who God told me that I am and that I accept it. When I got this message, the part of it that struck me, so I need those men and those women who have been in relationship that you just got beat down on. Every time, those abusers, because technically that's what it is. Whenever a man or a woman treats you contrary to how you're supposed to be treated, it's abuse. Those abusers act that way towards you because they recognize a piece of themselves in you. That part that they strike out against. Because the same brush that painted you, painted them. But when they look at you, they see that part of themselves magnified. And because they refuse to go internally and say, oh, I need to clean that up. They try to clean the painting on the outside. Instead of going in to clean who they are on the inside. So for those of you who find yourself in that space, hey, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you to get out. I'm going to tell you to get out. It's about saving your life because they will never be able to love you, to accept you, to honor you, and do right by you. Because they are broken on the inside. And you cannot fix them ever. Full stop. I'm not sure if this, um, I mean, this is probably too much. I feel like, man, I need to be in church. Sometimes I feel like Jeremiah is like, God, you really want me to say that to somebody. But that's the word today. Somebody needs to stop and Love yourself. Let me show you what I, I wrote. I mean, it's actually in the book. He says, choose no man to serve like a king who will not honor you like a queen. Remember, you will always be daddy's girl, but you ought to be your husband's queen. And I think this message hit me because I was recently at an event and there was this gentleman on stage and when he, when he spoke about his wife and the queen who she is and how much and what he wanted to do for her, I thought, damn, I want a man to love me like that. But hey, I'm being honest. I am on a path of growing into a woman who loves me for who I am, who honors the queen, who accept that. I mean, all of this, I mean, it's a lot. Some would say F-A-T, some would say P-H-A-T. It's just me. But you cannot honor. You should make a decision. From this day forward, I will not choose to honor a man who doesn't honor me as the queen that I am. And for you men, because you know some of you men, you take these beatings. You need to say, I will not honor a woman who will not treat me like the king that I am. I'm going to go. Wherever you're watching this message, subscribe to my channel, connect, share the information, but honor who you are first, because only first you got to honor God and then you can honor yourself and then you can honor the world as it is supposed to be because love is, it comes down, God, you, and then it goes out into the world. That's why it's that L, right? That's my message for today. I love you.
Have a good day.